So today, what you are going to see here is, um, first of all, um, a component of the, the project. Um, in fact, two components of the project. As, as I had mentioned earlier, our project was looking at three different things that were going to come together to, to form um, a Kumfi Fruits and Juices Limited. The first was the farm. And so, understandably, we spent a lot of time on, a, on developing our raw material, that's the farms. And unfortunately, at some point, we were having uh, a backlash that we were not doing much. But it was because we wanted to pay attention to the raw material. Because for us, um, this, is a, this is a building. Uh, if there's a problem with it, we just have to pull some part off or we have to repair it and, and get it moving. Same with the processing machines. But the raw material was such that we cannot conjure. So we spent a lot of time developing our raw materials. So I'll be happy to take you around to some of our farms. I, I know if we want to do all the farms, it will take us the whole of the day and more. So what we see here is our, as our factory. Um, we, are, we are sited on a, on a 50 acre land that we procured in 2017, out of which we've, we've used about um, 15 or so acres to do this, this facility. This is a factory building that has a, fac um, a factory floor of 100 meters by 50 meters, so that's quite huge. It is to allow us to plant our processing machine and also allow us to expand as and when we want to, okay, because we'll have the space here without necessarily touching uh, the block. We have um, here a processing machine, so a couple of, of them coming together to form the machine, developed by us. Um, all that we have done, uh, the farms, the building, uh, the machinery has all been done by Ghanaians except for the building of the machines that we had to procure. But even with that, the arrangement was to um, do this design, get them to do it because of the expertise that they have, okay? And then come in here to install, train our people. So we have our young engineers here who are trained by, by the manufacturers themselves, run, commission, and leave. So from um, the middle of December that we started doing our test production, proudly it has been all Ghanaians. We've had our own challenges with that, but um, it's been all Ghanaians and now we have our hands on it. And then as we move. So what we have here is a processing line with different components. That process um, about 10 tons of pineapple in an hour. That's the capacity, 10 tons an hour. If I, I scale a pineapple at um, one kilo per fruit, so it can be a little less, it can be a little more. But on the average, if it's um, one kilo per fruit, we are talking about 10,000 fruits in an hour. So in, a, in an eight hour shift, we are talking about eight, um, eight tons. So 10 tons by eight is um, 80 tons. And by 80 tons, what I mean is that we are doing 80,000 fruits in a day. That's in a, sh in a single shift. Um, for us or for the agronomy, what it means is that we're using four acres in a shift day so that's so much so that is why we have to spend a lot of time developing our, our raw material